Here we go, folks. Okay. Roll the entrepreneur. Din 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 din. Oh my god. What an entrance. Hi, I'm Matt Natanesky from Nevermind Adventure. I'm uh, seeking uh, $200,000 for 15% equity in Nevermind Adventure. Nevermind is Nevermind Leather. You can see that beautiful handcrafted, ethically produced and sustainable vintage and retro leather designs. From that, we've also developed into an adventure travel company specialising in motorcycle travel on these old school motorcycles, Royal Enfields, um, and we predominantly operate in the South a Asia region. Back in 2010, a family friend was in India and he was setting up a primary school uh, for underprivileged children. I got curious, took my family, went to live over there for three months. Uh, two young kids aged three and seven at the time, my wife, we worked at the school for a bit, travelled around. I just fell in love with the country. And through that process, I managed to stumble across these amazing leather craftsmen. There's one family that produces all of our leather goods and we retail them out of our stores in Fremantle and, uh, and Geelong now. When we got back from India, I couldn't get back into the workforce. Ran out of money, started selling stuff, surfboards, guitars, all that sort of stuff, and uh, I ran out of things to sell, and I started selling my beloved leather collection from India um, on eBay, and it sold in five minutes, and the guy who bought it came back and asked me if I could get some more, and the light bulb went off. Rang the boys in India and said, can you make me some more uh, cool bags and send them over to me? They did. Went down to the Fremantle market one weekend, had a killer weekend, and went, yes, this is gonna work. <laughs> There was a lot of interest and someone came to me and said, next time you're going to India, can I come? And I said, of course, you know. The light bulb went off again. Through our network in India, we were able to show people a real side of the country that most tourists never get to see. We took people to our school, we took them off the beaten track. They came back with a, with a life-changing experience and Nevermind Adventure was born. So Matt, just to summarise, love your passion. You're, uh, you're wanted, looking for $200,000 for 15% yes. of your business. And the business is two existing retail outlets, yep. one in Geelong, one in Fremantle. Yes. Uh, we're selling leather goods, importing leather goods, and we're taking people on travel experiences. And websites. That's the business yep. we're buying yes. into 200,000 for 15%. Got it, exactly. all right. So, been in business for three and a half years. Yep. So, let's just go back three years. What was your top line revenue three years ago, last year and this year? Total turnover last financial year was approximately 950. So 950 turnover last financial year? Yep. And the year before that? 700. 700, and the year before that? 500. 500? Yep. What's next year? Next year, we're, we're looking at uh, going from roughly 180 bookings last year to 300. So revenue? We're looking at 1.3. I'm just, just, I'm having some trouble adding up uh, here, Matt. Uh, I noticed up when you sign up there, you got four thousand nine hundred bucks. Yep, from you're doing from. from, which means it's a minimum, right? Yep. Right. So then you're doing three hundred bookings. Yep. My quick math says that's about one point five million without your leather goods sales. Uh, it, the math is yeah, pretty so, good. So, so that's what I'm working off. Yeah. So, but that's the, inclusive of flights. Uh, so what we're working on is getting to three hundred bookings in the next twelve months. All right. So, so the revenue numbers you gave us there, that that was yeah. your gross profit, was it? Or what, what, what was that? Then? Turnover. I, I don't get your numbers. When you give you the numbers of how many you've taken, what you're charging as a minimum, mm. it doesn't make sense. I can't make it add up. But that's all right. Yeah. You, you know, it's not, it's, it's not exactly a stress-free environment here. And I sort of like this. But you've got a leather goods business that is subsidising and or the other way around, your motorcycle tour business. <laughs> I mean, what do you want to do? The motorcycle adventure stuff, what's popular at the moment. We've really taken the emphasis off the retail side. I feel that part of this investment would be into the retail side to get that back to where it should be. But that means you are losing money out of your stores. Yeah. The leather goods are beautiful, but get rid of them. We, we, 
look, I'm open to that. I guess what I probably should clarify here is I'm not a businessman. I started Nevermind as a way to survive. Yeah. And it's become a business. Yeah. And a lot of this is foreign language to me. Nothing yeah. to apologise for, mate. When I started Boost, I had no idea whether to turn to debit and a credit. <laughs> but you know What's what? What's changed? Uh, <laughs> mate, and excuse me. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm ready to make a decision. I, look, yours is an interesting story, but for me as an investor, it's not really scalable, investable. It's all about you and your own journey. Yep. I think it's a great niche business, and I wish you well, but it's not an investable business for yeah. me. Thanks, I'm yeah. out. Cheers. So, look, mate, um, you, you've obviously identified you've got some skill gap running a business, yeah. right? I think that's probably the, the, an appropriate way to put it. You need to be prepared to throw away parts of this business. Mm -hmm. Are you in this to make money? Yes, I am. Um, that was a hell of a pause, mate, just quickly. <laughs> I think in this business that, that you're a good face for it, you know the vision of it, but you can't run it. Because the only way to do this is to get someone in to run this business. I'll make you an offer. But we're going to have to deal with this business, I think, in some parts, quite viciously. So I'm willing to offer the 200000 bucks but it's going to be for 60% of the business. The 60%? 60%. This is shocking for me. You never do deals like this. I don't. Matt Netanewski is in the tank looking for $200,000 for 15% of his Nevermind Adventures to a business. But Steve's offer might see Matt take a back seat in his own company. So I'm willing to offer the 200000 bucks but it's going to be for 60% of the business. For 60%? 60%. Is this the bottom feeder coming in? We need to control this business. We probably have to throw away two-thirds of the effort mm. to get the profit. So what happened to the guy who said you don't want to actually take a business so the founder has very little equity? That's it. He'll have 40%. That's a great deal of equity. Please don't take this as an insult. No. We're going to put professional managers in to help you run this. You are going to be the guy who's going to set direction. You know the tracks to go to. You, you know that audience. This is shocking for me because you you <laughs> never do deals like this. I don't. Uh, ever. I'm going to give you 40% of, 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 of five to 10 million bucks worth of turnover. We'll probably put in a couple of million bucks on the bottom line. The revenue's solid. The product's great. Split focus is a lot of things I agree with. But really, 60%? 60%. It's not just about the valuation. Basically, you're giving away control. Is that what you want to do? No. So, Matt, you've acknowledged it yourself. You really need a business partner and somebody who's going to take care of the business so you can keep looking after the wonderful experience and the great product. I'm not going to be a business partner for you, so for yep. that reason, I'm out. Yep. Thanks, Naomi. Matt, your products are awesome. They're great. The problem you've got is, though, is split focus. So in some respects, I actually really want to do a deal. And I'm sitting here and going, how do I you know, unfold it? And how does it make sense to me? I'm out, but I'm going to go through your numbers and I'm going yep. to help you because you're the real deal and you will do really well. You just need to get this part right. That's awesome. Jenny. So there's a Thank free you. offer <laughs> for a business partnership. <laughs> Yeah, look, I think um, my biggest concern is I'll put my money in, I'll have to do a lot of mentoring with you, and I just don't know if I've got the time. Sorry, mate, I'm out. OK. All right, so we're down to one shark. Matt, do you want to do, you want to, um, do a counter offer to Steve? It's a big gap there, so, you know, um, if you'd go to 40. That's a big move. Oh, but that's, that's yeah, no, bloody that's good. Look at, the, look at the revenue. What's your current board structure? You're the, you're the sole director? Yeah. So I always get, I always get at least 60% of the board. I want to find the most profitable part of this business and pursue it until we're all disgustingly richer. And if you don't like that, that's fair enough, because guess what, mate? It's your business, your yep. decision, right? I want this business, but I want at least, and it's 49%. But I want control of a board. He'll be bossing you around. Matt, if you lose control of your board, that means my good friend Steve can sack you when he needs to. Yeah. So are you are your new offer is 49%. Yep. Plus you want control of the board. So Matt, you just gotta ask yourself, 
is this what you need? Steve, what, what, um, what would be your vision? You know, what would you like to see? Well, my vision is to find the best performing parts of this business, understand it, do more of it, do it better. Yeah. Mate, there's going to be some bloody hard decisions made in this yeah. business, and that's why. Regardless, those decisions yeah. need to be made. You're going to kind of have an executive chairman, someone who's more experienced than you in mm. business, but basically, you're going to be, you're going to have a boss in a way. Yeah. Even though you'll have that extra 1%. Yep. Yeah. So is that what you want? Welcome to the tank, Matt. Make a decision. Steve, OK. Um, I appreciate what you're saying, and I... Let's do it. Oh, there you oh, go. Go. Oh, right, mate. Fantastic. A lot of fun. Excellent. Take your advice, too. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, You'll be happy with him. Yeah. You'll be happy. Yeah. Yeah. I'll meet you no, there, he's in later. Interesting. I can tell you that. Well done. Congratulations. He is a good guy. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. And you'll he be fine. Gonna... You'll be good for him. How was that? It was intense, yeah. Um, but I enjoyed it. Um, it was some moments of truth. And, you know, what a great way to, to grow your business, you know, through Shark Tank, you know. Um, anyone can go get a business loan, but not anyone can come and do this, so it's really special. We could do a shark tour in the Himalayas. We could. we could get you stranded in Pakistan and never see you again, Naomi. That'd be fantastic, actually. Yeah, that'd be good. You should wear Channel red. Channel 10 will love it. <laughs>